Thanks for watching TCM this Sunday as we honour all of those who have served for this country with our Memorial Day Marathon. I'm Alicia Malone. And our next war film celebrates the elite members of the United States Army Rangers, with James Garner playing the real-life Major Darby, the man responsible for organising and activating the 1st Ranger Battalion during World War II. From 1958, directed by William A. Wellman, it's Darby's Rangers. For this script, screenwriter Guy Trosper took inspiration from a 1945 book written by James J. Altieri. Altieri was an army ranger himself, part of this first ranger squad, and later he became the president of the World War II Rangers Remembrance Society. This was one of two books he wrote on the Rangers' history, and Altieri had previously worked as a technical consultant on the Michael Curtiz film Force of Arms from 1951. The adaptation of Altieri's book was first announced in 1950, but sat on the shelf for five years until Warner Brothers had success with Battle Cry from 1955 and started to search its archives for similar material that might also be profitable. Originally, Charlton Heston was hired to play Major Darby, but Heston was replaced by James Garner after asking for a 5% share of the profits. Garner had already been cast in a smaller role, but stepped up to take the lead, prompting Heston to file a lawsuit against the studio for breach of contract. Anyway, Darby's Rangers plays out almost like a heist film, at least for the first half, as a ragtag bunch of soldiers are assembled and sent to Scotland for intense training. It's a tough training schedule and not all the men survive it, but they still find time for some amorous adventures with local women in Scotland, England and Italy. Then, in the second half, the now lethal fighters are sent to use their newly acquired skills in North Africa, Naples and Anzio. From 1958, also with Jack Warden, Stuart Whitman, Murray Hamilton and our friend William Wellman Jr., this is Darby's Rangers. It's an enjoyable film, but when Darby's Rangers was released in 1958, it seemed almost like a relic from the past. Perhaps more at home during the 1940s, William A. Wellman's film was devoid of any of the cynicism that had crept into the modern-day war films of the time. But over the years, Darby's Rangers has remained a fitting tribute to the brave men who formed the 1st Battalion of the Army Rangers and to all those who have served in the Rangers since then. The only other criticism of the film is the amount of time spent watching the soldiers with their various women, which was added to try and make the film seem more modern, inspired by the success of From Here to Eternity from 1953. Okay, our TCM Memorial Day Marathon is continuing after the break with another war movie released in 1958. This one is directed by Raoul Walsh and stars Aldo Ray with Cliff Robertson and Raymond Massey.